two sessions on the show. Dirty Rotten Souls will be here in about ten minutes or so. Also, the other session comes from Nicola Jane. And she sounds like this. Jane and Bird in the Cage, you can hear her in session on the show tonight. One's already gone out, that was Dirty Rotten Souls. Nicola Jane is our next one and she's here with me now. How are you? Hi Rob, you alright? Yes, thank you very much. Have you had a nice week? Um, not too bad, not too bad. Been busy, done anything nice? Or? Um, not this week. Last week was busier. I was uh, running Venom Base while they were on holiday and different stuff like that. I did um, some work in a school. I went down and 
played some uh, tunes and uh, spoke to the kids and did some question and answering and stuff, so that's cool. I was speaking to a teacher who was at the school that you played at, and ah, they said that you were absolutely week. fantastic. Oh, that's nice. They said that they, they were they were blown away with what you did. And oh. we played, we've been in before, you've been in yeah, a few yeah. times before, and we played uh, Burning the Cage a little bit, which is a fantastic oh, okay. song. So we were looking forward to you to come in and do the session. So we'll play the session in the next few minutes. Did you enjoy it? Did you have fun? I did, yeah, it was ace. I was really scared because I thought we were recording it like live and I was like, oh my God, I'm going to make a mistake. So it was really nice to be able to sit and relax and record it properly and then so everyone can hear it properly. <laughs> I recorded some new songs, so that'd be nice. That's really good. So it's nice to sit back and, and, and relax, play the songs at your leisure and, and know that you'll be going out yeah, the yeah. from. <laughs> um, so the songs, then, tell us a little bit about the songs before we hear them. Um, the first one is, well, they're both new. The first one is called Lose My Mind, and that is based on mental health issues and all that sort of jargon and dealing with that. And then the second one is... Um, it's a bit of a, like a fairy tale based song. It's brand new, it's a few weeks old, and that's called Vision of Consequence. Where were you when you were writing those then? Tell us the story behind them. Um, in my bedroom. Right, everything in my bedroom. I just go in, sit down and generally have a fiddle about and then they just sort of come out my brain and out my heart. <laughs> and then you're away. <laughs> yeah. Shall we hear the session now? Uh, yes, please. Do you want to introduce it and introduce the first song? OK, well, this is my session. Uh, I'm Nicola Jane and this is Lose My Mind. That song was called Lose My Mind. Uh, this next song is uh, my new one, and it's called Vision of Consequence.
is one confident note to end on. <laughs> BBC introducing on BBC Radio Stoke. That was Nicola Jane in session for us, recorded here at BBC Radio Stoke a little bit earlier on. And Nicola Jane joins me in the studio now. That was a big final note. I like that one. It's scary. As I say, every time I get to it when I'm live and I'm just like, oh my God, it's coming up, it's coming up, don't we go wrong. But Has it ever gone wrong? Um, I think maybe the first time I played it, but I covered it well, so it was all right. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Just drop it down a couple of notes as the way as you're going through. Uh, really like that. That was fantastic. Thank you very much. Um, the that last song, Vision of Consequences, brand new song. Yeah, it's a couple of weeks old. I've only played it a few times. So I would describe that as sassy. Sassy. I like that. I think it was good. It's and Aaron uh, described it as punchy. So yes. Aaron sassy takes first, and punchy. Aaron who takes the first quotes <laughs> described it as punchy. So there you are. That's two quotes for Facebook and MySpace. That's brilliant. There we are. We we away. Them. <laughs> um, so last time you came in, we were talking to you and said that you were gigging here, there, and everywhere. Has that been the case over the last couple? Yeah, of months? it still is the case. Like I came in last time. We always 
gigging a lot and then I kept banging on about an album which I still haven't finished but well I've written it and I've got the money for it it's just not gone into production yet that's like, what we said to you last time we spoke to you you yeah. said that you were saving up for it so you managed to dig it well, all well it's all sorted it's just I started recording it I just um, yet to finish it and right, but it's it's getting there it's getting there today first thing uh, Lee said he recorded the session earlier was where's the album and he asks me every time I th- to be honest I think Lee's the only person who's excited about this album <laughs> but um, yeah um, it is going to be finished and it's going to be it's going to be good, hopefully. Lee's the engineer who works and records the session. Yeah, sorry, I just right. keep rattling on about random people <laughs> no one okay. knows about. It. It's fine. Um, so, is it a case of, because the album's been going on for a while now, you think, actually, there's a better song than that, I can do a better yeah, song Yeah, yeah. I've spent such a long time writing it, and of course it's going to be my first album, and I just want it to be something special and something perfect, and... Um, but the more I carry on, the more I start writing more new stuff, and then I've kind of got bored of the old stuff, so I keep replacing them songs, and... But... It'll get there. So you can see why people put out loads of EPs instead. <laughs> yeah, definitely. It's stressful, it's hard, and it's, you know, it is what it is, but it'll be there eventually. <laughs> so there'll be a lot of people listening to that session tonight that loved it and want to see you play live. Where can they see you play live? Um, I think my next one is at the Full Moon, and it's um, on the 1st of November. Uh, a Venom based studios are holding a big Halloween uh, ball, so everyone's got a coming oh, okay. costume, and it's going to be. That's a Friday be... night, isn't it? I think so, yeah. It's going to be amazing. I know they've got all sorts of tricks up their sleeves and little surprises that not even the artists know about yet. So it should be really, really good and really scary. So Who's playing that? Um, there's uh, a girl called Danny who has just joined the joined Venom Bass. Um, there's me, there's a band called Suburban Radio and then the Black Mirrors as well. Um, Venom Bass is like a management company that... Uh, yeah, based and in recording studio and recording well. studio that you're with. Um, thanks very much for coming in. Thank you. Um, thank you very much for your session. You've done a cover which we can hear before 10 o'clock tonight. We've got loads to come between now and 10 o'clock. Can you give us a clue to your cover? Okay, well, you could be listening to it soon or you could be listening to it now. Uh-huh. <laughs> That's a bit like Blind Date. Do you know when they do the Blind Date stuff? And then they used to be at the end. Oh, no one get that reference apart from me. Okay, I well, do know what you're about. That, that's all right. <laughs> Showing your age, Rob. Blind Date. I used to watch Blind Date. I was uh, about six, though. I don't remember. Okay. Uh, thank you very much for coming in. Thank you for having me. It's we'll been probably nice. never see you again. I have to be attacking us about Blind Date, but that's fine. We'll see you. I'll bring me lizard if you have me in again. Okay, bring the lizard. Thank you very go. much. <laughs> thank you. Bye. Yeah, Nicola Jane's cover. She was in session a little bit earlier on. She did a cover of The Smiths. This is what it sounds like. And the sun on the air Of nothing in particular You shut your mouth How can you say I go about things the wrong way I am human And I need to be loved Just like Everybody else does I am the sun In the air Of a shining city Screaming a yeah. And the sun in the Take your
Jane covering the Smiths. <laughs> 